you know how wide a four by eight sheet of plywood is? It's four feet, but yeah. And then the other thing is I need to get the snow machine running. So I think we'll do that this episode. So how wide is a Super Cub? Needs to be four feet. Okay. All right, so plan is, gonna put the plywood down here now and start making trips. I've got a bit to haul, something like 60 sheets. I loaded my plywood parallel to the wings. I think that worked great. I generally don't stack the plywood very square underneath the airplane. I actually stagger it, shape the front of the load kind of like a boat. And it just helps with air deflection. If I made a flat face that plowed into the wind in flight, I could actually feel that vibration in my tail quite a bit, you know, in the stick. Not quite that extreme, that would scare me. But I mean, just a real light flutter. Not flutter, you shouldn't say flutter if you're talking about flight controls. Just a real light vibration. Well, we made it with the first uh, load of plywood here, those five sheets. And it's a gorgeous morning, dead calm. And um, yeah, everything's going splendidly. We're gonna wrap it up in some plastic here and get ready to transport it up to the building site. Man, what a day. You can see there's some wind blowing up there though.
Okay, we got to put this uh, suspension back in and we're going to see how that goes. I've gotten, uh, I've been humbled by that before. It's like, what, like six or eight bolts? Just got to put it back in that tunnel. If you're ever doing this little job, these little springs are a pain in the butt, so zip time. See that? I just watched a YouTube video. Yep. Well, looks like it's back together. And I think it's time to take it for a rip. I just don't have very much gas. Hmm. I think I know where I can get some gas. There's my gas can. And yes, I realize I might catch fire. Well, it ain't much, but that's about all I'm willing to risk. Deep. There's three of the um, lumber packages I dropped, dropped in here yesterday. That one there is the one that nosedived. You can't even see it. But, yeah. Huh. The idea here is obviously to get the lumber pretty close to where we're going to build because it's winter time and I got the snow machine and I can move windows and plywood and all this stuff rather than hand carry it from the airstrip. That's not going up on the snow machine. That's going up on me. It hurts. It hurts. So dumb. Ah! Why do I do this? So the building site is actually just right there. It's about maybe a hundred yards away. And uh, this is what we call airdrop alley right in here. So I need to go down and look at that one. That one nosedived. I was going too fast. <laughs> you got to see this. 
the non-impact end. And it looks good. Sure would like to see the front of this thing though, see if it's all beat up. Well, we're close. I wanna go make one more load before it gets dark. Go home and see my girls. Alrighty, I did finally get one board. It looks fine. Of course it was on top of the stack. The bottom one might've gotten bunged, but that's good. I wanted to leave a marker too, cause it's supposed to snow and There it is. There's a bomb hole. There's another one. Boy, the snow is hard. Way harder than I would have guessed. And then the one that submarined. All right, I gotta get out of here. I'm lollygagging. I'm having too much fun. <laughs>